How often do you jump between ClickUp and your calendar, especially when you have to move over to ClickUp to see what you should work on next, and then going back to your calendar to see if you have enough time before your next meeting, and then back to ClickUp to see if there's a smaller task to squeeze in. Maybe you find something, or maybe, and all that back and forth, you gave up and are scrolling instead. That stops here. I'm gonna show you how you can connect ClickUp with almost any calendar using Morgan. And in doing so, see your ClickUp tasks alongside or even scheduled in your calendar. First, you need to connect ClickUp inside of Morgan. This is gonna take only two minutes. But before you go and connect every space and list you have in ClickUp, ask yourself this. Are there tasks in here that I want to schedule in my calendar to start working on? So in order to connect the integration, you're gonna click the three dots here and then go to connect to task integration. And then you're gonna to go to add account and click on ClickUp and then go to the sign in with ClickUp. Page. If you're part of an organization that has a lot of spaces, some of which you have access to more as an FYI, but that aren't filled with tasks you need to deliver, resist the urge to add them all. You need to import those you use most often to see what you're responsible for. If there are lists you use sometimes, sure, those are important and you should import those and you can always filter them out. But the goal is to only show tasks that you want to keep top of time and schedule in your calendar. So inside ClickUp, you'll see that I have my workspace here and I can select what works Space I want to grab, say there's multiple of them, but I only really need the one. So then I'm going to select this workspace and go inside of ClickUp. And from here, I'm going to select uh, both of the different spaces that I have, the basics and the marketing one, but I'm not going to grab all the lists. I don't need my all hands meeting list. I don't need this list that I hadn't kept up to date, uh, but I do want that 90 day Instagram success checklist. So I'm going to go and press save and then we'll go back to Morgan. So once you've done this, you'll see that the ClickUp integration is added. And oh, look at this. Everything's loading inside of Morgan. So what's really cool is that you uh, can actually jump between spaces. You see the basics and then marketing. So these are the two different spaces that you have. It's really awesome. I love the way this integration works. And you can adjust how you want to see your ClickUp tasks over in the settings here. So we press the three dots and this is where you can edit the tasks settings. I prefer to group my tasks by list. So we're going to keep list here as this option, but you can arrange them however you like. I also, after grouping them by task, like to order them by priority primarily, because for me, that makes the most sense. But you can arrange them however you like. And then if you imported lists that you don't want to plan for right now, you can always filter those out of your view. Finally, choose which labels to have visible. So as you can see right here by default, there's all these different display labels that show up and they don't actually all need to be here. Like for me, I want to press none and I only really want to focus on a couple of the ones that I care about. Like I care about status here and due date. Now I can toggle any of these on and off, like the ones that are actually applied to this will show up, but you can untoggle them with ease. And this actually works for each task in each space. So for example, if we switch to the other space, like this, the basics one, you'll notice that there's this other huge list of display labels. And I do not necessarily want to see all that. That's a little bit much for me. I just really care about like status, priority, maybe due date. And uh, I like time estimate a lot. I think that's a great thing in this integration. So we're just gonna make sure that that uh, adds up here and clicking on this just makes it so that you can toggle these on or off. Once again, it can be changed setting wise across every space. Now you're ready to start planning. It's easy to schedule tasks by dragging them out of your calendar. So for instance, if I want to plan what I'll work on tomorrow, I can simply open up my upcoming list, which is, as you can see right here for either of the spaces set up right here. So let's just see which tasks have due dates that are coming up. And don't forget, you need to have this set up in your task settings, enable upcoming list makes it so that this is possible in either of your spaces. I can pull these into my calendar, taking into account any events that are on there. And you may need to adjust the duration for some. So let's take uh, send marketing emails for tomorrow. And I'm going to put it towards 11 in the morning right here. And you'll notice that the duration was on here. As I dragged any of these, the duration is on here, right? So if you need to adjust the duration for some, like this one, I actually don't think it'll take more than that. I think it'll maybe take half an hour. You can, and you can even copy an extra slot for an especially big one. So, you know, <laughs> we got this guy, this chunker of a four hour task. All right, let's shorten it up, turn it into, and maybe even three. I might have to bump this guy down again, and that should take about the whole amount of time. So let's just group these up. 
and then uh, everything should be all set up fine for tomorrow in the afternoon. And then I can check out the duration again and see if there's anything else that can fit. Like, ah, I wanna buy that productivity book before work. Then when I finish a task, I can simply mark it as complete. So for example, once I buy that productivity book tomorrow, I could have checked it off. And you'll see that when I do so, I will be asked if I wanna track the time spent on the task. And that would update ClickUp's time tracker. If you track billable hours, you can also decide whether this is a task that should be tracked as such. I selected yes to the tracking. So say if I made this 45 minutes and this was originally a task duration of 30, then if I checked it off and pressed track time, then time tracked, I end up opening up ClickUp, now accurately is reflected as 45 minutes, even though before it was 30. Well here, since I finished the task, I will update the status in ClickUp to mark the task as complete. So as you can see, while here, since I've finished the task, I will update the status in ClickUp to mark it as complete. If I click on this, it marks it as complete. Note, our current sync, with ClickUp does not update the task status when you've checked off the task in Morgan. This is because every team uses different statuses and workloads. So for the moment, we'll let you update that in the way that makes sense for your team. Your feedback here is important, so let us know if you would prefer that when a task is marked as complete in Morgan, the status is automatically updated over in ClickUp too. And that's it. Now you can plan your days in Morgan, making time for each of your ClickUp tasks. Prepare to get far more done and to lose less time hopping between your calendar and your tasks. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.